Hello, my friends. I'm going back to basics today and doing a very simple ring pour. And I'm using Arteza paints, just the uh, regular acrylics, premium acrylic colors. But to jazz up two of the colors, the black and the crimson red, I'm adding um, a little bit of mica powder to it, or I did already. Look, at, I just love opening this box. It's like a a treasure chest. I may have said that before, but that's how I feel every time I open it. <laughs> so I, I added some uh, silver, I think it was, to the black. And I don't know if you can see the little sheen that happens with it, but it, it, it reminds me of the finish on a car. And to red, I added strawberry red, and that looks like my car. In fact, my car color, a little bit of metallic shimmer to it. So I want to take a minute and thank those of you who have used my coupon code when buying your Arteza products. You save some money and it allows me to get a little commission. So I thank you very much. I don't know who you are, but um, some of you have done that and I do appreciate it. So there you go. And I wanted to show you the last Arteza I think it was the last one I did, the pour I did with the ready mixed paints. These little ready to pour paints. And um, what, this came out of the kit that Arteza's come out with, a starter kit. And it, this is on a canvas board. I put some tape on it to try to prevent it warping. And it, it warped a little bit, but it, it wasn't bad. And once I stick it in a frame like this, It'll you know, flatten right out and, and be fine. And I'm quite pleased with it. It's just a really fun, exciting piece. So there you go. So today, ring pour. Um, black, crimson red, yellow ochre. And then I took some white and added just a smidge of the yellow ochre in there to warm, up, warm it up. I didn't want just stark white and... That's it. I'm going to go from light to dark. And here we go. And I think I'll add another, um, I'll go back to the red. I don't want the black next to the, the creamy white. So I want to separate it. I think I'm going to reserve some black in case I want to do some negative space. So let's see, and I'll just go back the opposite direction. Polish off the red. Yellow ochre. And the warm white. Okay. I'm going to clean off that edge because I want to pour from this side. I don't know if that makes a whit of difference, but I generally pour from there, but I, I want to pour here for a change. So here we go. I 
These remind me of my high school colors. The cardinal and the gold. Arcadia High School for any of you Southern California gals and guys. <laughs> okay. Woohoo. All right. I like that. It looks like flames. Okay. My black kind of got lost. I'm a little surprised at that. Um, this is kind of ugly over here, so that I'm going to run that off this way. And I think I think I am going to add black to these corners here and here. Okay. And now, time to move it around. Oh, I'm using the um, polyacrylic mix as a pouring medium. I I think I went a little too thin. I went three three parts of the mix to no four parts of the mix to one part paint, and I I usually go maybe three to one. So I was trying to use it up because I I need to mix up a new batch. I didn't have much left, and. Although it's looking okay. There's just some areas I didn't care for, but Let me look at this and decide if I want to change this up in some way. Hmm. I'm not sure. I almost like the the plainness of this area here and there. I'm thinking of tilting it that way dramatically, leaving my black negative space and going for it. Hmm. 
I need to maintain that that light otherwise it's just too blah but um, yeah I'm changing my thinking as I as I do this but that's what it's all about right thinking while you're doing it changing your mind it might make a good um, squirrel background. I like the colors here. Okay, have a little squirrel popping out of this section there. I, I think I like it. Turn it different. I need to touch up the few spots with black, but that can come later. I kind of like it. It's uh, simple. I like its simplicity. I don't know. Do you need to come in closer? There's not a whole lot to see, but it's traditional. So let me bring you in. I like the nice separation of color there. Yeah, I think I've got a background for an embellishment. Okay, my friends, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.